Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to create a 3D rotating cube using HTML and CSS. Here we have a cube. It's not just sitting here. It's actually rotating smoothly, showing different stuff on each side. Each side of the cube has a different picture on it. You will see things like logo of popular programming language and two stuff like React, Java and Move. Here we have a div element which acts as a container for our entire project. Inside the container div we have another div element which we call the cube. Next we have the div that represent the bottom face of the cube. It has multiple class applied to it. Next we create a section of the cube. It is labeled as the left side. Inside the section there is an image which is the logo of React. Within the cube div, we define five more div elements. Each of these represent a face of the cube. Here we use different classes that is left, front, right, bottom, top and back to distinguish each face and style them differently. Here we have a universal selector that applies the style to all the element. Next less style for the body element. Here we set the height to 100% and center is children both vertically and horizontally using flexbox. We set the background color. Here we set some font weight, font family and text transformation to uppercase. Now let's tell for the container. Here we set the perspective to 600 pixel. To create a 3D effect. Now let's tell for the cube. Here we set the position to relative and has a width and height of 300 pixel and the transform style is set to preserve 3D so that it render in 3D space. The cube spin continuously along the y axis with the spin animation.
Now let's tell for the face of the cube. Their position absolutely within the cube. Taking up the entire space. Here we have a background color transparent and a box shadow and an outline to create a border effect. The text color is set to white and the font size is set to 24 pixel. Now let's tell for the image within the cube face. It ensures the image don't exit the size of the container. Here we apply specific transformation to each face of the cube to position them correctly in 3D space. Now here we define a shadow effect for the cube. Now let's set a keyframe animation named spin that rotate the cube along the y axis from 0 degree to 360 degree infinity. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more web development tutorials.